In this video, we'll be going over the mandibular central incisor. The mandibular central incisors are the smallest permanent tooth in the mouth. They are also the narrowest mesiodistally, smoothest, and the most symmetrical. We will be looking at tooth number 25 today. Mandibular central incisors calcify at 3 to 4 months, complete their crowns at 4 to 5 years, erupt at 6 to 7 years, and complete their roots at 10 years. Now we're going to take a look at each view of the tooth. Starting with the facial, both mandibular central incisors are difficult to tell apart as the mesial incisal angles and gisto incisal angle look similar, though the mesial incisal is slightly more angled than its counterpart. This tooth contains two developmental depressions and has three mammalons. It also has the greatest CEJ contour of all mandibular teeth. To figure out the height of contour of the mandibular anterior teeth, you can use a mnemonic I5M, which means that the mesial and distal height of contour on the central incisor, the lateral incisor, and only the mesial aspect of the mandibular canine is in the incisal third. The distal height of contour on the mandibular canine is in the middle third. Also, the height of contour on the mesial is located in the incisal third, as well as the height of contour for the distal. From the mesial, we see a developmental depression, though not as deep as the one on the distal. The incisal edge is lingual to the apex from the proximal view. Moving on to the lingual, you'll notice this tooth will have a very smooth lingual surface with barely noticeable marginal ridges and lingual fossa. Now taking a look at the distal. There's a developmental depression present on the distal aspect of the root, and this differs from the mesial because this one also contains a developmental groove. The cingulum of mandibular central incisors is usually centered along the long axis of the tooth. Compared to lateral incisors, these teeth will not have a significant distal lingual twist. Now we're gonna take a look at the root structure and the pulp. Mandibular central incisors usually have one root, three pulp horns, one canal, but sometimes can have two canals. Bifurcations occur in about 40% of mandibular central incisors, so you may end up seeing two canals. Mandibular central incisor roots incline distally. Distal developmental depression on the root is also deeper. That was our review of the mandibular central incisor. If you'd like to learn more about other teeth, check out our videos on MyDentalKey.com. The 3D images used in this video were brought to you by Bonebox. Bonebox is a great resource for learning dental anatomy. Check them out on the App Store today.